the Joe Rogan experience. Well, the right will do it. The right, I mean, the QAnon thing's kind of a way they're doing it, where they're like, David Spade's got an ankle bracelet on, and <laughs> he's in jail, and Trump's put everyone under house arrest. Like, they're in this other thing where it's like, oh, you guys have left the planet. <laughs> and you, like, so... Explain at, to people who don't know what, yeah. what this QAnon shit is. Well, the QAnon is. stuff is like, th- there is this idea that there's an intelligence dissemination operation happening, meaning behind the scenes, high-level intelligence guys or military people are leaking information about a shadow war that we don't really see happening. And this shadow war involves Trump and the people on the side of lightness battling the, you know, these deep state pedophile, can- uh, pedophile cannibals. Like, I don't know yeah. why, like, I don't never understood why they have to be cannibals. But I didn't par- know they were cannibals. They're, no, they're cannibals. They're eating children and then they get the adrenochrome and it keeps them young. Oh, that's right. So this is the whole thing. And then Trump is going to war with all of them. Right. Now, listen, pedophilia is a big problem. They do cover up shit at high levels, yes. 100%. Yes. The Epstein stuff is 100% real. 100%. Clinton's on that plane. He's on that island. 26 uh, times. Yeah. The Franklin scandal. There's scandals all over the world. So I'm not delegitimizing like the idea of real human trafficking. But, but the idea that Donald Trump is fighting human traffickers and the human traffickers are Ellen, who is a little wild. That everyone in Hollywood's eating children and there's tunnels under Central Park. I mean, it's hard to keep up with. And the, the Q drops, so to speak, are like these, these, um, you know, they're like they're like poems or they're they're coded information. So it's never like, hey, this Who, is what's happening. Where do happening. you get these drops? Where do you get them? 4chan or something? You 4chan. get them like on 4chan. Okay, but 4chan is the best place in the world it's, for trolls. You know, it's a lot of, well, that's what maybe this is. This could be like a- That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it could be a high level troll. Nobody knows. Because it's bait. It has nuggets of truth. Right, right, right. Just like anything else, right? Yeah. It has nuggets of very real things. The government is shady as fuck. A lot of the elites are doing things, engaging in pedophilia, and probably were. Yeah. Like I some of those kids on Epstein's Island probably did disappear. But the idea that like that that Trump is fighting this underground war and it's all about human traffic, I just don't think that's borne out by the facts. Like there's no facts to point. I mean, Trump was like friends with the Clintons for his whole life. Well, not only that, if Trump was doing it and not talking about it, it would be so uh, right. out of character. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Like, imagine this one thing that he's doing is the most noble thing yeah. that he's ever done, ever. Right, he's the not mentioning selfless, it. The most selfless, the most important, the most right. for humanity, and he's not even yeah. bringing it up. He's just secretly winking yeah. at all the Q people. Well, you know, and, and so everything he does, there's like a reason that he does it, they say. Like, when he wishes Lane Maxwell, he goes, I wish her well. Yeah. Now, the thing is, that's... What was that? That's a rich guy who's forgetting he's the president, who's just on a tee at Mar-a-Lago, because that's how rich people talk. <laughs> I mean, that's literally, and I, I've been around a few like really wealthy people. This is how they talk when you say something bad, anything right. bad. If you go, you know, you know, John's wife has cancer. You know, their kid had a DWI. He's got a problem. He had a couple incidents there at Harvard. They go like this guy. I wish him well. Tee off. Like, <laughs> that's that's how they talk. That's how they t- It's just a dismissal. Yes. It's a way to dismiss it. Yep. But the Q people are like, oh, there's a meaning. There's a hidden meaning. Right. He's saying that she's, and if you look at it, Ivanka is wearing this dress, uh. and it means, and it's just like, listen, I'm a conspiracy guy, but this is exhausting. Well, the, I don't it's like care too much. to you, jacket. The jacket? Yeah. I don't care to you. Yeah. Isn't that what it said? Yeah, I don't care. I don't really care to you. Right. What? what? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's what weird. What the fuck is this? Yeah, these are weird things. What are we doing? So I think the Trump administration feeds the trolls. Like, I think they like it. <laughs> I think he'll, by the time the election rolls around, he'll be like full, full Q, just leaning in. Who's who's behind the scenes pulling the strings? Is it Ivanka? That they say Jared Kushner has a lot of right. power. But wouldn't it be funny if it was Ivanka doing the whole thing? It could if be. she's the one like stroking her chin like, hmm. She's the boss. What is, what is the nugget we release next? Right. <laughs> she's, the, <laughs> she's, she's queuing on. She's the smart one. Who's yeah. Like set, set how do we, up. how do we, yeah. She's the pretty daughter. Everybody dismisses her. I mean. Nobody takes yeah, her nobody, seriously. Right, right. She's it's in the background of the whole fucking show. She's with, with black leather gloves on. Yeah. <laughs> that go to the, the elbow gloves. Like the Inspector Gadget hand. You just see her this. hand typing on 4chan. <laughs> Send. Send, send. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. You know, Steve Bannon said something. In it. There was a documentary about Errol, uh, Errol Morris made a documentary about Steve Bannon. Steve Bannon said this very interesting thing. He said, you know, there's a guy uh, out there who's got a horrible life. Like, he's divorced. His kids don't like him. He has a shitty job. But when he plays, like, League of, League of Legends or World of Warcraft, one of these games, he's a hero. And when he dies in real life, nobody really cares. But when he dies in the game... 
so many people come out and they like they you know they show them respect because you're yeah. playing with people from all over the world. So Bannon's like, which which life is the real life? So which of course it's the, the real one that you're living, not this fantasy game. But I think the QAnon thing, I think. The Trump administration is like, yeah, let people believe they're hunting pedophiles online. It gives their lives meaning. Right. Like, let these people believe they're like hunting the Clintons. It's like fun. It's like a fun video game for them. And then they don't have to ask why they don't have health insurance and can't get a knee operation. I, I don't think that there, it's that involved. Yeah. I think it's just a thing that's happening yeah. that happens to fit in with human nature. That's probably true, too. Yeah, like I, yeah. I don't believe that the Trump administration has the resources to do that, but yeah. still... I mean, they would have to be so 4D chess. They would, they would really have to I be. I think they may like encourage it a little. I think they may sense? just pour a little gasoline on it. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Well, why not? If they think that's their base. Yeah, they're like, why not? They're having fun. I, when I'm you go out to like, a Trump rally, you want a little fun. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. They, it's the things yeah. that he does that are mistakes. Yeah. Like these these interviews that he does, where he he'll argue about shit. Like he'll he'll argue about yeah. how well they're doing or what you know what's wrong or what he got right or what his IQ is or how well he did at this uh, intelligence test. Like anybody who's playing like three D chess is not right. going to do that. No, no, he's not playing any chess. He's going I think. by instinct. He's he's riffing, and yes. we've said it before. I've said it on the show before. It's like it's amazing to watch a guy get up, no material, <laughs> and just crush. Yeah. I mean, just. He's really going by instinct. He's like yeah. a perf he's perfectly suited for this era. Yeah. Because he's like he he's hypnotizing. Like if you start listening to him, you can't stop. Like I'll try to watch one five minute clip of an interview, I end up watching the whole hour. Yeah. Because he's like there's a hypnotic thing that's going on where he just is up and down and you just you can't not listen. <laughs>